Hello and welcome to a small tutorial on um, how to do inking in Paint Tool Sci. Um, what we are going to take a look at is um, the uh, vector tools that Sci has, and they are really superb for uh, for inking. Um, so let me just finish up my sketch real quick that I'm going to use to uh, to show you how this works. And well, we don't want to do a lot here. Uh, this is not a drawing tutorial, or uh, so. Um, yeah, if anybody wonders how I did, uh, how I made my brush look like this, it's very simple. I simply choose acrylic over here in this drop-down menu for the standard brush tool. So, um, and the rest of the param parameters you can see here. Um, so, quickly wrapping it up like this. Yeah. So once you have finished your sketch, now uh, by the way, if your sketch is not red like mine is, I prefer mine red. Uh, if you've made yours black, I would suggest you choose another color for your sketch, which is really simple. If you have made it the wrong color, simply hold down your control key on your keyboard. While holding down control, do a left click on the layer. Then create a new layer, hide the old one, and with your new layer selected, you can um, fill the layer with the color that you have chosen. Now let's say I want to choose blue. And once you've done that, you fill the layer, voila, you get a drawing co uh, color of your own choice. It should be anything but black. I prefer mine red. So um, once you've done that, uh, chuck down the opacity. I prefer my opacity to around 50, a little more, I guess and then make a new line work layer. Uh, it's called line work layer in the old versions of Paint Tool Sci, and in the later versions it's called uh, vector layer. So once you've done that, you have a vector layer here, and this context menu here changes. As you can see, if I choose sketch menu, I get airbrush and water brush. These are not available in the vector layer. But we still have our pen tool. So choose a setting of your choice. I guess just make a few, uh, change the color to black, and then make a few test lines to see is this really the um, thickness that is representative for what I want, but not be too fussy about it. We'll take a look at that a little later. For now, you should go change your smoothing to something higher. I prefer mine pretty high if I draw with mouse, because this is possible to do with mouse. Uh, if I use my Wacom tablet, I use the Wacom Intuos 4, which is now deprecated. The later and the um, actual version right now is called the uh, Wacom Intuos Pro. Uh, but you don't need a tablet for the inking process itself. Only if you want to do the sketch on the computer directly as I did, well, then obviously it would be nice to have a, a digitizer. Um, if you do the sketch by hand and just scan it, okay, well, that is also an option. So here, um, simply make one of these lines that you need to do, and you don't need to be too precise. Well, don't be like this. Um, I will just do like this. So as you can see, I'm not really following the line very well. So let's zoom in, and while we hold down our control key, we still have our uh, pen tool selected. So hold down your control key and you can see a lot of control points. Now these are all the control points that um, that um, controls how this line is being drawn. The line tries to follow in a, s a smooth pass path as possible through these points. If you hold down your Alt key instead of Control, if you use the Alt key you will still see the dots, but whenever you hover over a dot you will see a minus your mouse cursor will change into a minus. And if you click it, if you click the dot, it'll disappear. You should click many dots because uh, Paint Tool Sci uh, sets in a lot of dots depending on how you drew it. And you don't need so many points. Actually, some of the, uh, uh, one of the most important things here is to um, create as few dots as you can get away with. Now, you may notice that I've begun moving one of the dots around. 
If you want to do that, you hold down the control key again. So hold down the control key and you're able to simply grab a dot and move it around in order to change the curvature of the line that you just drew. This is really key. Uh, this entire process should go should be really fast. You don't want to spend too much time mucking around uh, in this. That's also why you want to simplify it by deleting a lot of the uh, control points that it initially had. So you have fewer points to move around. Now, once you're happy with your line, uh, I guess I'm just going to readjust a bit here and move this a bit down. Once you're happy with your line, um, you should change to pressure tool. The pressure tool allows you to see all the dots uh, at once. And um, if you grab one of them by simply pressing down on the point, if you draw right, it becomes thicker. If you go left, it becomes thinner. So um, you should make it thicker in the places, obviously, where you want. Um, and points next to each other uh, can be um, uh, should should lead up to each other. You know, if you have a very thick point here, make the other ones a bit thicker as well, so it looks more natural. Uh, so it doesn't become very thick all at uh, at once. Um, if you want to insert more points, uh, simply change back to your pen tool, hold down the control key, insert or click uh, in the middle of a line, and then you have a new control point that you can move around as you please. And hold down the alt key if you regret it in order to delete it again. So the pressure tool allows you to create thicker or thinner lines. It allows you to readjust th uh, the thickness of your lines. Uh, you can also move the points around uh, simply by holding down control and then move it around. So if you don't hold down anything while you have pressure tool selected, it will uh, allow you to change the thickness of the line. And if you hold down control, you can move it around. So let's say I'm happy with this result. Then you're ready to uh, change back to pen tool, draw some new lines. And again, you don't have to be too fuzzy with uh, how precise they are. You can all, always zoom in, hold down the Alt key, begin removing those pesky extra points and move it around. As soon as you know when to press Control and when to press Alt, this becomes very easy and very fast. So I will do like this and like this. I will remove this point and this point. No need for, for this little nose line to be this complicated and I will change to pressure tool, make it a big figure here and here, and zoom out. And we can always blind our sketch layer to see how we are progressing. So that was basically it. This is how to ink in Paint Tools I in a very fast and professional way where you have the maximum amount of control. Create your vector layer, use your pen tool, use your pressure tool. And that's pretty much it. You can, of course, use the eraser tool if you've made a lot of uh, lines, like for example here, and you want to erase into it. The eraser tool will allow you to do exactly that. But I guess that was pretty self-explaining <laughs> in that it's called the eraser tool. So um, that was it for this time. Thanks for watching.